for International Women's Day and we're joined by two of the hardest working women in Camogie and Tipperary, Grania O'Leary from Ballybacon Grange and Carmel Bradshaw of Balna. Grania, we'll start off with you, I suppose, can you just tell uh, everyone listening here uh, maybe about all the different roles you have in Camogie in the county? Okay, I suppose in the county, um, I am stepped down as development officer this year but I'm still on the development committee and as part of that role, I'm kind of working with all the development squads, so we kind of split the, split the role because it's gone far too big for any one person to do it and we have a great committee there as well. I've also this year taken on um, uh, some of the fixtures roles, so I'm chairperson of the fixtures committee and I'm doing a bit of work um, with the referees as well. And I suppose one of, the, one of the really nice jobs that I have is working with players and coaching with the county junior team and I'm delighted and we had a great win uh, the other day in, um, in the rag um, against Galway and then I'm with the coaching with the county on the 14 team as well and again which is fantastic um, to have our panels picked and some great girls there and I suppose we've just finished all the trials then for all the 15, 16B and uh, 17 squads so there's a lot of work going on in underage camogie in the county. Um, sure. And then I suppose your role as well with your own club, Valley Bacon Grange, I'm sure yeah, you're involved this year again. I am, I suppose, you know, the grassroots of all of us is our clubs and that's where we love being as well. So I'm um, involved this year again, managing our, our county or our club junior team and uh, the club under 14 team. And I'm vice chairperson of the club as well. Very good. And over to you now, Carmel Bradshaw, again, a great, a proud uh, Ballina woman. So what roles do you have within the club and the county this year? Um, my role within the club is a um, minor uh, uh, coach, um, school, uh, I do the school training every Monday, um, uh, have been involved on the top table in, diff in various roles um, and the county I'm on the development committee, I'm with this lecture after the great win we had against Galway, I'm one of the selectors with the juniors, so social media, I'm involved mm. with the PR group as well and, and two very active groups so and again, I love to see girls playing and, and my love for sport came from a young age for people like ourselves who were involved and, and encouraged the girls to play. So hopefully like what we give back to, what we got, we're giving back to the girls. Yeah, serious uh, commitment from both Grania and uh, Carmel. I suppose, uh, Grania, how did you first get involved in Camogie? Um, I suppose I always loved it as a sport, played a little bit of it as, a, as an adult really um, in Dublin when I lived there. And then we didn't have any Camogie down in Valley Bacon and, and I had a daughter and she was playing with the boys and you know suddenly there was too many girls playing with the boys so there the rest is history as they say we uh, started up the Camogie Club and it's been fa fantastic about 12 years ago and you know we've teams in all grades now and we had our first adult team our first county final win last year at adult level so you know when you, when you get to adult level it's um, it kind of made it you know your club is going to survive um, you know because the early years are hard you have to drive it on and I suppose, look, it's great. I, I love in our own club to see female coaches. Um, it's very important to have female role models um, for the girls. You know, it's a female sport um, and, you know, we have, we have fantastic male coaches, male mentors, but it's really important for the girls, I think, to have the female influence. And I love to see female coaches, female managers at all grades and all levels because, you know, we have to drive it on. It's, as I say, it's a female sport and, you know, they're really positive role models for the girls and the younger girls coming up. You know, as the saying goes, if she can't see it, she can't be it. And that's what it's all about. And I suppose the two of you are at opposite ends of the county with Ballina and Ballybacon, but I know you must spend so much of your time, whether it's in the county camogie grounds here in the Rag or in Turles or in Bursley training. So literally, Carmel, you give up so much of your of your own free time uh, to be involved in camogie. I do. That's the love of the camogie. I'm passionate about it. But also I'm retired, so it's a little bit easier than people that are working. And I do have, like we do have great, brilliant people working with us as well. It's not just about us as individuals, it's about a group, a group of people that are willing to work together to encourage the, the girls in sport, really. That's it. And I suppose, um, just to mark International Women's Day, I suppose, Grania, what, why, why would you encourage people to get involved in Camogie, whether it be as a player or as a volunteer? Do you know, you, you'll get far more back than you'll ever give. I mean, you're out in the fresh air, for one thing. You're exercising, you're doing lots of things. Like, camogie for me, people say, why do, why do you do it? It's like, it is like a drug to me, do you know what I mean? I actually love it. And, you know, when you're doing something you love and enjoy every day, sure, it's not a challenge, it's, not, it's easy. And, you know, and, and we, we bring people into the fore at our clubs and, you know, they do, they do get the bug, as they say, and they get involved and they end up loving. Sometimes it's a bit of fear of the unknown, fear that they can't do anything. But, you know, we train people up 
you know, because no one person, as Carmel said, can do everything. We need a team of people, be it at club, be it at county. And, you know, we've, we've all brought people into the fore um, in our clubs and county and, and they go on to, to greater things. So the more people we can involve in Camogie at club level and at county level, and, and especially the more girls we can involve, you know, the better it is and the outcomes. And they'll get far more out of it than they'll ever give as a volunteer because the rewards are massive. And Carmel, I suppose the final question to you, we're, we're talking a lot, I suppose, about the off-field action. On the field, uh, I suppose, the camogie, the skill, the standard has never been as good. You were selector now with the juniors this year. You were selector previously with the seniors. Um, like some of the talent and displays we see, whether it's minors, development squads, or, you know, our, our adult teams, you know, there's great skill week in, week out. And I suppose you'd encourage people to come and watch the matches. Oh, definitely. I mean, the skill level, uh, you know, even in the, like, I mean, I'm, I'm involved now six years nearly at, at senior level, you know, between senior senior on 16s juniors and the, the, the standard of, of the girls is, is as equal to any any man's match I've, the, and that they they commit as much equally they commit as much time energy and give up an awful lot of their spare time to do it and, and, and a great credit to those girls they come from college they come from all over for training nights and look at as I say you know you say what you love about it you get their energy as well. Like you feed off their energy, and, and when you have a good group of girls like that, it's just, it's just you get as much from them as much as you give back to them. They and get as much I you. suppose just to mention as well, the league is only around the corner as well. Uh, the club uh, league is starting, and then the underage games are all kicking off. So we have a fantastic club uh, scene as well here in the county. We we do, and we have a, a fantastic development coming through at all levels, and and we can see that. From tw- from under twelve up for matches, you can see the skill the skill level ha- has increased, and there's an awful a big increase. And it was it was remarked to me that the increase of girls playing Camogie in Tipperary has increased twofold in the last couple of years, and that's a credit that's a credit for the promotion of it, and it's a credit for the development of it, and it's a credit for women in general. Great stuff, ladies, and happy International Women's Day. Thanks.